Florida Republican Congressman Mike Waltz joins us now. Congressman, election interference. That seems like a pretty strong expression to use here. Do you agree with it? I don't. I, well, I certainly agree with it. Yes, Stu. I, I don't think that's too strong. I mean, look at the backflips this nation went through yeah. with the Mueller investigation over uh, Russian interference. And, and we have to look at it two ways. One, it's hacking. And then two, it's influencing people's opinions. Uh, and, and I think Elon said it perfectly. When you have uh, a major, major news and information and communication platform acting at the beck and call of one political party and shutting down other voices just before an election, I, I don't see how you couldn't call that election interference. So what should we now do? You're going to investigate it in the House come January or February. What do you do? Yeah. Well, I think, one, we need to get to the bottom still of the FBI's role in particular mm. and what was the role of law enforcement, Department of Homeland Security and uh, the political committees. So that I think we still need information. Elon has promised that there is more. I appreciate the transparency and the spotlight that he's putting on it. But this is in a broader issue, Stu, as you know. I mean, this is Section 230, the liability of these uh, entities that we have to get after, and then the fact that they have a monopoly. I mean, just look at Apple uh, that threatened to take uh, Twitter off its platform. Look at what they did to Parlor when they can shut down uh, the server access. And th these companies have way too much power over our national and political discourse. Next one, Congressman, a, a, a separate issue here. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the military vaccine mandate must end or the national defense bill yeah. will not move forward. Now, are you prepared to sacrifice the defense bill? Yeah, look, I, on the one hand, Stu, I, I certainly applaud Kevin McCarthy for raising this to the top of the list of issues that he raised with the president during their meeting. Apparently, the president was open to it, but his defense secretary is dug in. And you're right, the, the stakes are huge. Uh, on the one hand, we, ha we are on the verge of losing 10 to 20,000 National Guards men and women on top of the 25,000 that we already fell short in this recruiting crisis. That's a massive blow. The Chinese couldn't even, you know, they couldn't have even planned it uh, uh, that well in terms of the self-inflicted wounds that we're having as a result of this vaccine. On the other hand, I want folks to understand if we don't pass a defense bill, that's no new ships, no new hypersonic missiles, no pay raise for the troops to match this inflation crisis. These are incredibly high stakes, uh, and I'm hearing some indicators that the administration will, could come to a middle ground. For example, how many boosters do you have to get to be considered fully vaccinated? How long does this go? The religious exemption process has been a total sham. It's been a rubber stamp no without true consideration. There hasn't been a single one approved, uh, for example, in the Florida National Guard, not one. Uh, so we have to resolve this. I applaud Kevin uh, McCarthy for making it a huge issue that it is. Yeah. Uh, but man, uh, we've got to have that defense bill, Stu. So we, we need to this Some is where we need to roll up our sleeves and come to a resolution. A, little yeah. a resolution compromise is required. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us as usual, sir. Always appreciate it. See you again soon.